¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Bienvenidos a un nuevo vídeo del canal en YouTube de Josh Contenidos y del blog eltalleraudiovisual.com. ¿Te suena KineMaster, verdad? Para nosotros es el mejor editor de vídeo en sistema operativo Android con un montón de posibilidades a nivel profesional. Pues bien, desde hace bien poco, KineMaster también está disponible para iPhone, para dispositivos iOS. Lo que quiero es que hoy me acompañes de la mano de Matthew Fenberg, el desarrollador de KineMaster, a conocer cuáles son las últimas novedades de este eh, fabuloso sistema de edición para dispositivos móviles. Entre otras cosas, nos va a decir con qué softwares y apps va a estar integrado muy pronto. Ni más ni menos, Adobe Premiere y Switcher Estudio. Hi, so I'm uh, Matthew uh, with uh, KineMaster and um, I'm here at MojoCon. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, our new release. We have just released uh, KineMaster for iPhone. So you can see uh, uh, we're looking at both KineMaster um, Android and iOS and you can see the user interface is, is basically the same on both. Um, the major difference is uh, you'll see is that the, uh, the back button, for example, is, uh, is, is available here, um, whereas on the Android you would use the hardware back button. Um, and uh, when you're going to the uh, media browser, the media browser uh, is a little bit different because uh, iOS and Android uh, handle uh, selecting media a little bit differently. Other than that, everything is going to be uh, basically the same. So if you're familiar with one, you can use both. What I'd like to show you now is um, we recently launched the, the KineMaster uh, Asset Store. And so the, uh, in the Asset Store, you can download um, royalty-free music, um, uh, animations, overlays, effects that you can use in your video. Uh, and so I want to show you a little bit of that. Uh, and then uh, also uh, I'll talk about um, where we're going uh, in, the, in the future. So, so I'll make a new project here. Let me uh, just add, uh, add some video. And um, uh, if we look at the, uh, in the asset store, but we have a large uh, 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 collection of royalty-free music. This is, um, if you're a, a subscriber, um, this music is free uh, for subscribers for all uh, use cases. So you can use it for broadcast even. It's licensed for broadcast, it's licensed for uh, all, all uses. Mm -hmm. So you can freely use that music. Um, and uh, we also have um, uh, a number, um, uh, some overlays, and this is just getting started. So for right now, I'll talk about this. Uh, we have a lower third, uh, and what this what this does. I've already downloaded the lower third. Let me just add uh, add an overlay, and I'll pick the lower third. And we have four variations of that. I'll just pick a simple one. You can customize the text in this. Uh, it already has uh, uh, some some placeholder text. I'll just show you that. Um, If I play, you can see this has a simple uh, animation for that. Um, and actually, we should probably uh, position that. It's down here at the bottom. Um, and so here you have a, a, a very simple animated lower third. Um, if I want to, I can customize uh, the settings for this. We can change the text in it or uh, the colors. Um, for example, uh, we'll, we'll set the line color to a, a red. And you can see over here, we now change that. So these, the elements of that are customizable. You can, you can fit whatever your theme is. You can change the font uh, that is used and so on. Um, but uh, uh, we are also, um, so let me, let me show you one other, uh, one other effect we've, we've added. This was just added a few days ago, um, which is this, uh, we, have a, we have a bulge effect here. It, maybe this is not very useful for, for, uh, for journalism, but uh, just to give you an idea of what's possible. And you can see this is a dynamic effect. And what I'll do with this is let me um, make a keyframe animation. So I'll turn on keyframe animation and I'll have it move, let's say, over here. Um, and then at the end, let's have it maybe move back across the text. And then when I play that video, uh, you can see there's this, uh, the dynamic effect that I've just added moving along that path. Uh, any suggestions or requests, we pass those on to our designers and uh, Um, and uh, you can look to, to see those uh, available in the store. So send us a sketch, a screenshot, uh, a description of what you'd like to see, and, and we will pass it on to our designers and, and get that done. We are uh, also working on workflow integration. This is, an, this is uh, coming later this year. Um, this is the ability to start a project in KineMaster and then finish your editing 
um, on the desktop in Premiere Pro. So you will be able to uh, take all the original media and all of the edits, the, the EDL essentially, um, over onto the desktop um, uh, through, through Creative Cloud or Google Drive um, and uh, take that same project into, into Premiere Pro and just continue editing. So you can create the final video in KineMaster or make the rough cut in KineMaster and create the final video on the desktop. Um, both of those are in possible workflows. Um, we also have integrated um, uh, in prototype with Switcher Studio. So if you've done a broadcast with Switcher Studio, uh, you can then uh, edit the results of that broadcast in KineMaster. And we have that in prototype now. We're planning to launch that uh, later this year as well uh, with them. But if you're here at MojoCon, stop by their booth and you can see a demo. So we're very excited about that. And uh, yeah, enjoy, enjoy MojoCon and enjoy editing in KineMaster. Estoy seguro de que te ha parecido tan interesante a ti como a mí estas palabras de Matthew Feinberg, el desarrollador de KineMaster. Sin duda la mejor aplicación de edición de vídeo para Android que ahora ya puedes utilizar en tu iPhone. Por cierto, si quieres aprender a fondo el funcionamiento de KineMaster sin perder el tiempo en buscando tutoriales por YouTube por Internet, ve directo a la primera escuela online de vídeo con móviles en español, la escuela del taller audiovisual.com, donde te ofrecemos, eso sí, un paquete de lecciones para que, sin perder el tiempo y ligerito, aprendas cómo funciona este pedazo de aplicación para editar vídeo profesional en tu dispositivo, sea iOS o sea Android. Dale a me gusta al vídeo si te ha convencido lo que te hemos contado y te espero la semana que viene el miércoles en directo junto a Oscar una nueva edición de El Vídeos Móvil donde te vamos a presentar todas las novedades de audio para móviles para grabar vídeo con el móvil de marcas pues las más prestigiosas Sennheiser y Multimedia Samsung Shure nos vemos en el próximo vídeo